Well, I think uh, what, when we talk about the bank, we are probably talking about a bank which will be used to channel uh, funds and investments on behalf of uh, uh, people from the Middle East. And um, if uh, the Islamic Bank opens up here, we are assuming that they will be able to uh, bring in massive funding for the various projects which their clients who are coming here to invest will want to utilize. So the benefit could possibly be more for Zambia and the region than uh, uh, the bank going elsewhere. In fact, what we are talking about is meaningful JVs, joint ventures. Um, I think we stress this point that we would like investors to come here and share their experiences, resources and expertise in order that Zambians are capacitated from those investors who we are giving incentives. So there is a revaluation exercise going on, a, a, an auditing exercise, where because we found that some of the people who had been given these incentives probably have disappeared. And after maybe five years, you find that they've changed their companies, their name, they've won down their company. So um, uh, the ZDA has decided to enter into a service level agreement with the ZRIA, where ZRIA is actually going to place their officers in the offices of the ZDA, so that there is monitoring and evaluation uh, of those companies we have given incentives to, so that we can see what the benefits are.